Hello and welcome back to Foundation Fabs of Lushes 2022 week 2 a lot of twos this week and today you might be wondering why am I testing out a foundation that has been out for absolute years well to be honest I've never actually done a wear test on this and I just kind of want to know whether this used to be really good because we didn't have that much choice or is it actually really good so today as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video I will be trying the Fenty Beauty the OG Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation so if you would like to see what this looks like and wears like on an oily acne prone skin then all you have to do is keep on watching it was Fenty Beauty when it first originally launched that has made all the other brands think about shade range. Fenty was just showed us how inclusive brands were all these years, including MAC, including Estee Lauder, despite their wide shade range. And this, for so many years and for so many people, used to be like the favorite foundation me included the one thing that i never ever did was actually do a wear test on this and i've been on this channel for almost five years and ever since starting my channel i have tested several different foundations several different formulas several different finishes and i kind of know what i like i know what i want from a foundation and my taste has refined so i kind of just wonder do i still like this is it actually good or do i just remember it to be good and as always with any foundation wear test i am going to read a little bit about this foundation despite us knowing it very well this is considered to be a best seller on the Fenty Beauty website. It is £30 in the UK. Medium to full coverage for all. Long wear, light as air. Give it to me quick. A soft matte long wear foundation with buildable medium to full coverage now in a boundary breaking range of 50 shades. Did you know that Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation is a 2019 Allure Reader's Choice Award winner? Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation gives skin an instant smooth, pore diffused, shine free finish that easily builds to medium to full coverage. This oil free soft matte foundation is made with climate adaptive technology that's resistant to sweat and humidity and won't clog pores so that wherever you are, it's going to work on your skin. Best of all, this light as air longwear pro filter foundation is undetectable on skin so you always look like you let's zoom me in and let's just get this on all right <laughs> okay i decided to get the shade 150 which is in the light family or fair family and it is a neutral shade if i'm not mistaken i am giving this foundation a good shake because i've had it for almost a year just standing there waiting for me to try it I bought it along with the hydrating foundation that I tested out last year or the year before I think it was last year I hope it was last year it might have been two years ago oh my god anyway let's try it out I forgot about this this foundation is quite runny and it smells really nice I usually I'm not like a person that needs uh, additional smell in fact I prefer to have no additional smell rather than a very strong um, fake smell but this one in particular it smells like vanilla e and as always I'm going to start off by applying this foundation on one side of my face and I'm using a sponge and this is one side of my face with one layer of the foundation on applied with a sponge in comparison to my bare face. It has already set. Um, that's the one thing that I wouldn't like in a foundation, but it is nice medium coverage. It has a lovely finish. It still kind of smells nice on my face. I, I, I do sort of remember why i loved it so much okay let me try a brush on the other side if i'm not mistaken i didn't like the brush but you know maybe i'm wrong 
to be fair it's not as bad as I remember it to be but it's not my favorite but it's just it's it's just preference I prefer I feel like it just looks a little bit smoother on the sponge side but the brush does work which is nice this is the other side of my face with one layer of the foundation on applied with a brush the sponge because it presses it in and it's porous it makes my texture a little bit smoother obviously this foundation does claim to be um blurring and it does give you like a slight blurring effect in my opinion it does that quite well um and despite my texture i don't think it's that visible this is just ever so slightly more matte than i personally prefer it but what i do like about this foundation is that i will not have to powder it down if you don't know i just hate the feeling of powder on my skin and to be fair i'm not a fan of um the way a powdered foundation does look i really really like that the foundation does build to a solid high coverage let's try other formulas on top of this for a minute there i panicked because my favorite cream bronzer is from fenty but i don't want to use the same brand because obviously they would have tested the same brand of products on like the same thing i'm going to use the made by mitchell blushes in shady business and hollow there as my cream contour and see if that works well that worked absolutely fine but it's no fenty beauty butter biscuit okay that has got my heart for my concealer today i'm going to be using the revolution conceal and define concealer and again there's no problem there it has blended in with the foundation flawlessly i'm going to very lightly set my concealer and i'm not setting the foundation i absolutely love the finish of this foundation it is nice and matte but just it has like this natural almost finish on my skin at least it might get a little bit oily a little bit quicker but I just I don't want to ruin it with powder okay so I'm just powdering my under eyes and I'm gonna get on with the day it is nearly 10 o'clock I'm just going to say that the wear test starts from 10 o'clock and I'm gonna finish off my makeup get on with the day and I shall see you in a couple of hours at my first check-in all right it's been two hours and i love my makeup today i really like the way my wings came out i like the lips i like the glow i like just everything today and including the foundation it has been two hours um and it looks decent for um the one slightest disappointment is that it's sort of starting to separate where my oils are coming through especially like on this cheek hopefully you can see it i will definitely zoom in in fact let me blot in that spot maybe you'll be able to see it better i don't know can you see it like there that's exactly why i wanted to do this video because it looks beautiful initially it still looks great but there are things happening on my face that are not cute um and that makes me worried so far it looks great after blotting I actually don't see that separation as much anymore um so that's okay <laughs> very cute today carolina very cute <laughs> if you don't love yourself how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else hour number four and <laughs> i've got yet another outfit on but this is what my face looks like let me see is that separation still happening not as much as before but obviously some of the foundation is like missing uh, in like the most oiliest part of my face where i blotted and i am going to blot once more i could just leave it because it's not super shiny but because 
it is getting sort of separated it is coming off due to my oils like my oil my sebum is breaking the foundation down i want to blot it so it has a a better chance of survival <laughs> i like it it still looks great let's keep going i'm gonna keep it short and sweet because i think this might be a long video <sighs> So I had a nap. It's hour number eight. I specifically tried to avoid like laying on my face uh, when having a nap, but I just need to make this quick update because as you can see, I've had a nap. Mm. And I've got this sort of separation moment happening like my oils are breaking down the foundation it's been a while since i blotted it's been what four hours so i definitely need to do that if i want to look somewhat like decent um and i do have to say it looks all right you know for eight hours i look i look all right let me blot and let's carry on because i do want to wear this foundation for like at least 10 hours maybe 12 we shall see okay hour number 10 and we are coming to the part of the day where i can barely just squeeze in a last natural lighting uh, check-in and i want to do that really quickly my face looks fine this foundation holds up it is long wearing i am going to show you what it looks like at the 12 hour mark but i'm just going to conclude it here because it looks good it is long wearing it is nice um it is expensive reasonably 30 pounds is quite high up in price but there is a reason why everyone loves it why it's a bestseller on fenty why it's good why people recommend it and i recommend it too i think you'll like it if you have oily skin i think uh this should hold up on your face quite well the one thing that um you have to take into consideration is that your sebum your oil will start breaking it down and it sort of just separates on your skin that doesn't look particularly nice but fenty does have um primers it has a mattifying primer that i will be trying out on my channel um very very soon so keep an eye out on that but for now thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed that i hope it has helped you make a decision on whether you want to buy fenty or not i recommend it i do like it there is a reason why i fell in love with it like five years ago and i still will like it so I hope you have enjoyed that if you did make sure to like comment subscribe thank you for watching foundation fabs or flushes week two and i shall see you next week with another foundation